letter of the Quran you read, you get 10 rewards. Okay? Every letter you read, you get 10 rewards. A few days ago, a friend of mine told me, he sent me a message, I forget the figures, but he sent me figures to say, if you read the whole Quran, this is how many letters there are, and this is how many million rewards you would get. I don't know, he took it up to 32 or 320, I'm not too sure. Uh, I think 32 million or 3.2 million, it was a big figure, but I recall the three and the two in there. You know, I, I feel so bad not having memorized that figure. But the truth is, whatever the figure was, it is so large, such a big figure. In the Ramadan, it is multiplied even beyond. Do you know that? And this is why we, you and I know that one of the things everyone complains about in the whole world is the price of petrol. Do you agree? Everyone complains fuel is very expensive, very expensive. So now when you go to your service station and, and you want to fill your tank, before we used to say, fill. And the man would fill it and we'd take a few ringgates out and pay him. Now we go to say, 100 ringgate. See the difference? So before we used to say, fill. And he fills it and we can still pay him. Now you go to tell him how much you have. There's a difference. Why? I tell you why. Because the prices keep going up so much so that the machines that keep tally of how much you've got, they, they, they begin to, like in my country, there was a time when they would tell you 1.3. And then they have a sticker next to it saying multiplied by 10. And after that, they say multiplied by a hundred. So it goes so quick. And as you are filling the fuel, before you know it, hey, that's already a hundred ringgit. In South Africa, they would say that's already 500 rands and you've done nothing. Subhanallah. Why am I giving you this example? Because when we are reading the Quran, think of that machine. That, that when we are filling fuel, we watch the digits. They all go. Before you know it, it's sitting at this and that and that. Imagine every letter you are uttering, there's a machine calculating the rewards. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 90, 90, and it's gone. Before you know it, oh, subhanAllah, I'm sitting at a million. Alhamdulillah. So this is something you should be honored. You shouldn't be stopping reading the Quran. Imagine if I were to say, and so on. Imagine how many rewards would we be, would we be getting? One, two, three, it's hard to keep account. If I were to say, Alif Lam Mim 30. Where did I stop? I don't even know. Subhanallah. It must have gone far beyond two, three hundred and wherever it stopped. This is the point I'm raising. Think of the reward you are getting by your recitation of the Quran. Complete it in the month of Ramadan. And Allah will open your doors. There is a great reward achieved only to read the Quran. And the Prophet says, for every letter you get 10 rewards. And I am not saying Alif, Lam, Mim is one letter, but Alif is a letter, Lam is a letter, and Mim is a letter. And another narration, the Prophet says, Al Quranu hujjatul laka aw alayka. This Quran that you have will either bear witness for you or against you. So it will come on the day of judgment and it will bear witness for me or against me. I hope hope and I pray I understand that I need this Quran to bear witness for me and not against me because if I were leading my life far away from the teachings of the Quran perhaps it will come and the so many Quran's that I may have had would come and bear witness that oh Allah this man or this woman has read me so many times they even understood what was in me but they did not practice anything Allahu Akbar may Allah forgive us